Hello guys, this is Vignesh from Murthy's Training Academy. So this video is all about how freshers are supposed to write career objective in resume. To my experience guys, most of the students are making a lot of mistakes in simple career objective. Because career objective is considered to be one of the most important components of resume. Now let's see, let's learn together how to write career objective in your resume. First of all, you should understand what you mean by career objective. It is all about what you want to do for the company. The definition of what you want to do for the company. And the second important point is please guys never ever copy your career objective because career objective is very unique it varies from individual person one person to another person because what i want to do with the company is is very different from what you want to do with your company right so because you know the departments are changing our companies are changing our job profiles are changing so please don't copy your career objective and what are the three key points that you should mention when you are drafting your own career, career objective. Point number one, what relevant skills you have. Point number two, which domain you want to apply your skills in. Last but not least, what you expect from the company in return. So these are the three vital points that you must include when you are writing your career objective in your resume. Now let's see one example for your better understanding. A fresher in computer science engineering having skills in C and C++ programming. So here I am a fresher, assume that I am a fresher. So I am, I mentioned my department also, computer science engineering, right? And what skills I have? I have programming skills. Which programming? C and C++. So, C and C++ programming, the skills that I am having. Now, the next point, would like to work in the software development field. So I have programming skills, C and C++ programming skills, where I want to apply my skills. That is also really important. So I should mention the domain, the industry, like software development or software testing or software programming, or ITES. So your industry also should be mentioned. Industry means the domain, which domain you want to work. Last point, while gaining knowledge and experience on job. So last line always talks about what you expect back from the company. It's very simple. As a fresher, what I expect, I want to gain more knowledge and I want to gain experience. Clear? So always remember guys, if you are applying for a software development role, associate software engineer role, please follow this career objective. And based on your skills and based on your department, you can change it. Instead of C and C++, if you have .NET skills, you can always mention .NET. If you have Python, you can mention Python. Or if you are good with you know, big data, you can mention uh, business analytics or big data. If you are good with uh, Cisco, I mean CCNA, Cisco Certified Network Associate, you can mention that here also. So, and one more thing guys, when it comes to different job and different job designation, and uh, it depends on the industry, your career objective is keep on changing. Am I clear? which means you should not use this career objective when you're applying for a sales job. When you're applying for a sales job, your career objective should be changed. When you're applying a job in a BPO sector, you should change the career objective. So based on the industry, based on your skills, you, sh you should keep on changing the career objective. The last point always guys in career objective, please don't mention too many technical jargons because it will be difficult. Maybe the recruiter will keep on asking you questions from that particular technical term. Okay, and always career objective should be short and simple.
so i hope this video is very helpful so guys i request everybody to subscribe my channel murti's training academy thank you so much